Zoe Broach, Brian Kirkby. Welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you. Welcome to Israel. Thank you. It's your first visit. Yes. It is. And we are delighted to have you. Thank you. I hope Israel treats you well. Oh, very well. And doesn't work you too hard? We work ourselves too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe, Brian, you are the royal couple of Boudica. <laughs> I, can't, I couldn't find a better description. <laughs> and I must say it's quite amazing when one tries to evaluate or estimate what you are doing. You are doing so much. Design, fashion, connecting with artists. Where do you find the time? Where do you find the energy? How did it all start? Uh, it started by accident, I think. Um, and uh, I think a lot of that uh, sense of, I guess... The, the combinations really come from the fact that when we studied, I really believe this, I've thought about it a lot, I think when we studied, we studied in the 80s, and business was not part of our study, it was not part of um, our journey. Those very early formative years of how, what you're going to consider, who you are and what you do. And so although we both studied fashion, um, we were surrounded by the culture that was um, very cross-referencing and multimedia in many, many ways that didn't know those phrases at that time. I think that very much informs who you are. And I think when we, also when we first began, we showed in galleries and we, um, we, we, we were much more expressive and made sculptural pieces for the body, maybe not sculpture. Um, and so I think it was a very natural, it's almost a return I think it's a sort of cycle back on itself, um, most recently in the last eight, four years, where you go on a pathway and you become closer to what uh, the world is pushing you, because the world is changing and forming itself in the last 15 to 20 years, the sort of global economy and the structure begun, and so that, that alters the way you are. And then I think we got to a point where maybe it wasn't comfortable, we were a little frustrated, finances were very hard, and we began to return and ask questions and find things that were, what were more true for us, and more natural, and were, were, became an important part of the expression again of who we were. And that was, it was, it was just very natural. So to, to record by taking a still or by making a short photo essay or um, thinking about the chair that she would sit in. It's actually very important to us as people, yeah, be, I think. It kind of becomes closer to your language as well. It's like if you farm jobs out to people, like, you know, you work with a filmmaker. And although we've done collaborations, I think that a lot of the work that we make with the film work and the, and the video essays and everything, it's all us. So it's kind of like you, you become like a control freak. You want your language to be purer and purer. So you end up kind of broadening the width of how you work. And, um, and, and it becomes a really kind of natural um, evolution in a way. I mean, yeah. you know, to learn to code, to learn to build websites, to learn to kind of work with graphics, all these things. But everything's kind of feeding itself, you know. So it, it's not like anything's, you know, kind of um, isolated. Everything is connected. And, uh, and the more you kind of learn, uh, like just talking to students now, it's like you remain a student. You remain trying to kind of find as much knowledge as possible, trying to find different ways. Because within all those different places that you dip in, you kind of cherry pick all these different processes that kind of adjoin to your own. Yeah. And I think also, interestingly, we both had um, musical um, influences, Brian by Morrissey and myself by David Bowie. And th I think also that was an important time for us. If you look at David Bowie, he very much played with identity and mask. He was acting, he did performance, he worked, he collaborated, he had all these different characters. Morrissey would really um, deep, deeply was um, inspired by literature and wanting to play with word and examine and, and um, have opinion, whether it's political or kind of emotional and really um, kind of the desires of melancholia and all of those elements. And they become, again, your early masters, your early teachers and people that you emulate maybe when you're younger, but that influence stays with you. Um, and I think you maybe begin something where the imagination is, is exploded, shall we say. And then you spend all your life trying to remember that initial explosion of really that first, those early times when you, you really want to, you 
has something to say that's inside of you, you can't formulate it in words. And dress was what was available to both of us. Um, and so we explored that, but now we're in a place where, we came across this phrase when we worked at the Royal Opera House, and it was called part rabbit, part girl, part hole. And it's about science and Lewis Carroll, the mathematician, the hallucinogens of disappearing, the multi-dimensions, the quantum, the ability to, things to shift and change, not, not be one, not be held to one identity, um, to be the child as well as the woman. And all those things start to, it became a little phrase that allowed us to realize a little bit more of, that it can't just be informed by just dress. There has to be other elements that explain why you wear the dress or what the dress is. Or maybe you want to wear a suit. And so I think that's where all of that comes from. And you know, sometimes it's frustrating because knowledge comes to you slowly, actually. And um, so you have to, you remain the child learning. And so although, yeah, where does the energy come from? Just thirst to be frustrated, actually, because you haven't quite found the way to say it. You keep getting things wrong and you have to do it again and you meant this but you couldn't quite find the tools to say it so you look elsewhere. Interesting you mentioned Morrissey a few weeks ago he performed here in uh, Villa Verde. Really? He gave a wonderful yeah. performance. It's bad timing. <laughs> uh, we are sitting, we are standing on the rooftop of uh, Betair in Tel Aviv. Uh, Betair, uh, the house uh, city and for a very good reason there is a wonderful exhibition, your exhibition downstairs. Thank you. And I had the good fortune of attending a, a very interesting meeting you just held, you mentioned it, mm -hmm. with young Israeli students. Mm -hmm. And I must say, it, it was quite inspirational. Oh, okay. And it, it appears as if uh, teaching is also a very important part of who you are and what you are. You enjoy teaching. I love teaching. Yeah, me too. Me too. I think it's really... So, yeah, I mean, it's like kind of sharing of knowledge as well, because yeah. it's not just teaching down, you're kind of learning as well. And so it's kind of, it, again, it's a little bit like how we were. Everything kind of becomes in flux, so there isn't this division between you and the, the student. It's more of a kind of dialogue of like, the, you know, you kind of adopting, not, not adopting what they're doing, but actually kind of feeding off each other. I think it's, it's, it's good. It's this kind of open source mentality in a way that's kind of really, I, I think it's really quite liberating and, and kind Kind of, yeah, but also when, when you teach something you know, wonderful, not every student responds to you. You can't be all things to all people. But I have to say, all my time of teaching, every now and then you might just help somebody find something inside of them. And it's a really wonderful gift to see that person blossom, to feel really confident, not because they're being anything but apart from being true to themselves. And I really love that journey. It doesn't happen with one session or one lecture. It's generally when you work with someone for a while, you kind of un help them unlock the things. It's not what you give. All you do is help find what they already know and help them be brave about that. And that's, um, I love that a lot. Equally, <clears throat> what they do is they, you know, you have these kind of hard drives of memories. And as we get older, we can be a little lazy and we forget we've had a life and we've learned many things and maybe we don't use them. Yeah. And what teaching does is it makes you use them. And then not only do you share it to the student, but it comes up in your own thoughts. And then it helps you... It reminds you. Yeah, it reminds yeah. you of things yeah. you know and that stimulates. It's like this kind of molecular, you know, sort of ways, like layers of information holding things down. And teaching kind of makes that move and become more fluid. Correct me if I'm wrong, listening to you, talking with the students, wasn't your main motto to them remain true yes. to yes. who you are and what you are? Yes. Yeah. yeah, it's really, I mean, it's very easy. I mean, even today you can be <clears throat> swayed by opinion. You know, we're all quite, we can all be fragile and insecure. And um, I think uh, it's just part of human beings, but it's the, the most important thing in life is to be brave, brave to your own truth. In addition to wishing you to return this November, what can we wish uh, Boudica? And what we're going to be doing in the future? 
Yeah, I, I mean in the future we have a denim project coming up where we're going to work with Wood, which is our fragrance, which we did, which was a blue fragrance. I don't know if you've seen this. I have. But, um, and then after that we're, we're going off to um, Venice to um, see Murano Glass because we're doing something with the Venice Biennale and Murano Glass. And, uh, oh, and we have a collection, of course. Yeah. yeah. And then also from yeah. this, this um, exhibition, it's a really wonderful opportunity for you to... You've, we've created work, it has some of the archive, it's a, it's a battle between new and the old, and it's a conversation, and, um, and it allows you to see your own work, and then you meet new people, and they ask questions, and they will offer you new insight, and that stimulates you. And so already your brain starts thinking about new things. Of course, yeah. And I think you can't stop that. Um, and you get excited again. You're like, okay, job done, next. You know, like, oh, and there was that thought. And do you remember that person saw that? And you, some of them, they're not criticisms, as in the word criticism, often is seen as a negative. But to criticize is to advise, in a way, to offer those insights. and. Um, and I think that's really helpful. You, you, I definitely feel I've come away with some thoughts that I've never thought about it like that. Mm. And that's, that's also part of the exchange. It makes you move on. I know you didn't have a chance to see more of Tel Aviv yeah. and of Israel, but can you share with us one or two impressions of Tel Aviv, of mm. what you've seen, the people you met? I mean, I found it really... Um, warm, I don't mean about temperature, I found the people incredibly warm yeah, yeah. Um, and um, <clears throat> and not, yeah, I mean I, I just felt really comfortable um, and I think it's odd, we talked earlier about <coughs> instincts, about moving to different places and, and what's your first instinct and I think uh, there's a few places I've been to that I, I, I love and I find intriguing but maybe it's not where I would choose to live or I feel so comfortable but I, I enjoy it. But um, other times you land somewhere and you just, yeah, you feel very comfortable. I feel very comfortable yeah, here. I, I mean, if you kind of, because we've been mainly based here working on installing the exhibition, if you base it on the people and the team of people that we've worked with here, I mean, they've been great. I mean, they've worked as hard as we have. And yeah. it's, been, it's been really warm and, and, and really wonderful. Yeah. 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 And, I, and I think, um, yeah. yeah, my head's dropped off. <laughs> Excellent, guys. I like yeah. the cats too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for taking the time. Cool. Enjoy Israel and we'll see you back again in November. Yeah. Thank you very cool. much. Thank you.